Hello and welcome back to my channel today. Let's talk about how can we program this prismatic part inside an X12 game. So let's get right into it. Before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to be part of the conversation. Thank you. Uh, as in the past video, I told you before starting to program any part, you must need to go and define four things. The first thing is just to define the setup, next the tool, then the operation, and the last thing is just to define the pass processor. Or actually, we call it the G codes to load onto the real time CNC machine to manufacture that part. Right. So, to program this part, I'll go for application and a manufacturing. And how do you know for which option should I go? Either should I go for the mill planner, mill contour, mill multi axis? So, as I told you, the cutting walls are parallel to the Z axis, and we need to go for the mill planner. If it is not parallel to Z axis, the cutting walls, then you have to go for the mill contour, mill multi axis. So, this time I will go for the mill planner and I will hit OK. Now, I'll go for the geometry view, expand the manufacturing coordinate system mill double click on this and right now I want to put it on this top remember the Z must be upward and then you need to define a plane and define a distance of 3 mm as you can see over here the tool will retract up to 3 mm and then we'll go for the next operation to cut out the material all right so the Z must be upward right either you can just go to just orient the uh, X and Y axis and I think this time I will be loading the part in this direction see so my X axis is I think fine right now okay now I need to define the workpiece and uh, this is my work piece and the blank I'm taking the bounding block and the fixed size block I don't want to add any additional materials if you want to do the facing operation you need to add extra materials to the Z axis like 1 mm as you can see over here see but now I don't want to add any materials and I will hit OK now you can apply the check the wise the fixture and there you just want to clamp this part but right now I don't want to be you can define the cutting materials that you want to be cut with okay the next thing is just to define the cutting tool for create a tool I'll go for the mill planner and mill and then I want to go for age and mill okay now I'll go for the eight and mill no base radius and water length is this one and the flute length is 45 number of flutes 4 and the materials you can define the carbide and HSS high speed steel you can define the tool number 1 and you can just define a holder tool from the library I'm doing the milling operation and we'll go for the medium compensation tool holder and I'll hit OK. And once you define the tool with holder, right now it's time to define the proper operation. I'll go for create operation, mill planner, it is a prismatic part and I can machine this part um, with simple three axis, right? So I will go for the floor and wall. And then I will select NC program, the tool I just defined at and mill, and I just defined my geometry, and I want to go for the mill finish. And this is my floor and uh, floor. You can name it floor and wall finish with eight and mill. Now apply oh. or you can just floor in wall the specified num contains illegal characters okay floor in wall okay I just named it 
and right now I specify the cutting area I'll specify this flow and this flow okay automatically it will detect the walls if don't you have to check this out automatic uh, walls like this you can trim center, center, uh, certain boundaries that you don't want to be cut with and I just define my tool tool axis and you can just take this one normal to first face and that's fine for me path is mill finish and I'm getting zero material at the stock right and right now I'll go for the cut region containment and follow the path step or is constant and this time I'm going to take a step or I take him the tool of 8 mm so stiff or this was 12 depth per cut is 1 mm and in cutting parameters I will go for the climb cut at finish passes 1 and a millimeter I want to add a finish pass of 0.2 and stock I don't want to remain any stock contained mint and more okay so then I'll go for the feed and speed and the spindle speed I want to define 1500 And the cutting feed is 1200 uh, for revolution. Optimize the things and I want to calculate it. Okay, that's fine for me. And I want to calculate this program for now. See? So the program has been generated right now if I look at here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 12 right so I'm going to cut this region in 12 portion as I given for blank thickness it's mean this cutting depth right I wanna go for the fit and I wanna go for the Trimetric view, and you can go and verify the tool path 3D dynamic. Slow down your speed and go. See, and once you're done with this, then finally, what to do? Is to select this program and go for the pass processor then select three axes and hit OK right no right axis okay anyway so this is how you can create the pass processor create a program and so on right so thanks for watching